Hey guys, Damon here. Uh, today I'm playing a game called Marie's Room. Uh, people have been saying that it kind of plays like on home, that it's kind of like, uh, what's the game with the people? Life is strange. So I figured I would uh, just try it out and see for myself. So let's get started. I didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? Oh, that's weird. Uh, on my second time trying the game, um, it started me in a different place. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Bumblebee. Kit Kat. Hi Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. Oh. Yes, I'm talking to you. I don't need to talk. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend. And I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. Okay, so this is like a flashback? Am I now... The girl from the journal? Ah, this feels a lot like Gone Home, and I really enjoyed that game. I think I'll actually play it again. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. Aww. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. I haven't seen him. Who is he then? Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Hmm. I need to find the key. A five wrong combination. Crap. I really want to know what's in that case. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served. Okay, so the character that I'm playing... So, did she... Lorraine? She, okay, so she uh, needed, like, the help. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. <laughs> okay, so I met Marie at the, at the food bank because she was serving me there. It seems like we became friends and I was too embarrassed, so instead I started buying really cheap, like, microwave dinners. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. 
We only needed money for the one way. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. Yeah. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. I don't know. Password? Damn, what's the password again? I need to find it. Damn, what's the password again? I need yeah. to find it. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. Two, I don't think I could 14, have handled wasting. Huh. Where was that lock at? I need to find Two. the key. A five figure number. Fourteen. Wrong nope. number. Okay. <clears throat> High school kids saved classmates from hunger. After school article, people kept asking me why I did it, as if I were some kind of hero, so stupid. I kept telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book. My life story still so stop bugging me. Last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped their food, and ran. I never realized some of, some of my classmates were actually hungry, so I joined Food Rescue to help. There, the end, everyone. Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, I did it. <laughs> That's cute. Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? Oh, no. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. I'd like to invite you and Trevor to my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you're ready to talk. You know where to find me. Kind regards, Principal Phillips J. She wanted a gun? It's illegal. Okay. Okay. Mr. Torres loved that beer after the robbery. <clears throat> Let's try some of the dates from the journal and see. Okay, so December 22nd, 17. So 12, 22, 17. I need to find the key. 12. A five figure number. No, <laughs> that's not five digits. She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed if I were a five-digit password or passcode, okay, so that's Marie's huh, birthday. That's actually my birthday that's as weird. well. I guess March you wrote it down for that Ben guy, Trevor. What an asshole! After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day he dragged. Ah, uh, yes, the science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, 
free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out, just in case. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested. No, I like that. That's very. The Green Eatery. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I, I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. She was my friend, and I had to tell her. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window. But she didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone, and it shattered the glass. What she did kept the stone as a souvenir though? to remind her not to trust me ever again. Mr. Torres... Thick as thieves. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Five, six, twenty-two, three. Let's try that. I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Wrong combination. Crap. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. What haven't I, like, clicked on yet? Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys. So I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. La La Land. That oh, movie was a shit piece 14, of crap. 18, right? Glad Trevor snuck us in. I need to find. God damn it. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled I find out what that 20 says. bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Really? It just says... Uh, well done, you. Thanks for playing Marie's room. I really just want the damn code for the case. More than anything else. Lorraine, Marie's mom. I know I Marie's can... mom. I don't actually know her. I don't know why I said that. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. Her. The weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter. Because who wants to be boring? Oh, I see. Okay. So, like, the more that I, I get it. Okay, this is really cool. So, the more that you find in the room, the more that you, like, discover in the room, uh, the more of her journal is updated. I didn't... It kept saying that, but I didn't know, like, what journal was... I even tried hitting J to see if that would, like, open up. But... Come, come here. Okay. Okay, so three, four, nine, five, one. Three, four, nine, five, one. Daddy. Yeah. What is three, the code, Marie? 
Wait. Nine. The journal. Daddy. It must Daddy. be in the journal. Daddy. Daddy. What? Um, bow, bow. Um, bow, bow. Okay. Be right back. Let's try this. Yay. Good work, Kelsey. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay, so I found a 1911. Chilling in her oh, suitcase. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time. And she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Who is Trevor, though? Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. Ah! How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. That's creepy. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. Hmm. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Yeah! Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. Oh. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? <laughs> Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Okay. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that, hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed It her was her. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. No. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. And she never told but her. Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... Oh. What do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. Hmm. 
But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Except for Trevor, because he's dead. Hmm. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Anna Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. Of course I knew it was her. Who else? There was only one thing to do. Get to... She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? I drove all the way up there to Vancouver, freezing my ass off in that tin can of a car. Okay, so they're much older now. Allegedly, right? Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? I don't know. What were you thinking, Mom? No, that's her parents' room. Oh, I forgot the journal. I better go get it. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I need to read my journal. You're my friend. I love you unconditionally. I do love you because of you. I suffer daily because of you, but you, I don't know. Okay, so this has to be after after she shot Trevor. I did what I did because of you. Um, I can't be near you. I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Okay, I regret the science project. I regret it all. My father could have died because of me and my, and my inability to pick real friends. Kelsey never was who she said she was. I never really knew her, it turned out. It's all been bullshit, and I am so stupid. I should have realized that that should have realized it that La La Knight and walked away for good. Because someone died right in this room, I made him die. I pulled the trigger, made a bullet pierce his head, made his blood soak the carpet, drift through the cracks into the floor where it will remain forever. To bear witness to what I'm capable of, I can't stay here. Am I the same me? I don't know anymore. I have to fix this fix me away from her I have to focus on the positives in my life I have stopped questioning myself why did she do it why did I do it did I deserve this am I an evil person a killer I shot him in the head for Christ's sake I could have gone for his leg dad calls them intrusive thoughts I say they're the truth I'm stronger than I look I can do this I will go up north Uncle George as dad suggested nice and cool up there I'll be able to think and finish high school. I'm leaving this journal here because I need a clean slate and fresh pages. I'm sorry. Dear diary, maybe I'll send for you someday. And all this is long over and I've been and I've dealt with being a murderer. A mur she's not a murderer. Okay. <sighs> Looks my nice over her. Okay, so she moved away to be with her uncle George to kind of like get a new okay like a new start I I can understand California crisp white wines mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here hmm That was fun. That was... That was fun. Um, it took me a surprisingly and embarrassingly long time to figure out the, the passcode for the case, the suitcase, but... That was cool. And I really liked that the whole thing is voice acted. Uh, the music is, it was really cool. I'm really digging this music. Hmm. The funny thing is that now I like want to know more. I want to like uh, know more about Marie and 
Trevor and Kelsey. I just, I feel, I feel like this should just be like the start, you know, rather than like, that's the whole thing. I feel like that should be the intro in a way, but I liked it. It was really good. And I can understand why they said there's no saves because it, it would probably take someone who's not a moron like me, like 20 minutes to finish. So. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed Marie's room as much as I did. Uh, very much like Gone Home, I think. Um, it's it's solely uh, storytelling about the past, which is you know exactly what Gone Home was, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, I thought it was a great message and just a fun to explore and, and figure it out. So, um, if you like this video, hit like and. Uh, and, and, and please subscribe, you know, it'll help me out, it'll, um, it'll help me keep making videos. If you have any suggestions on what games to play, I'm, I'm more than willing to look at your guys' uh, comments and, and take a look at the, at the games that you suggest, so thanks everyone. <laughs>